Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Geeks love their tweaks, and I, I certainly could be accused of tweaking uh, any operating system, whether I'm running Mac OS X, Linux, or Windows. I, I like being able to modify the operating system to work more like how I would like it to be. And actually, uh, there's a big misnomer about any operating system not being more tweakable or less tweakable. I mean, they're all tweakable, but just uh, to uh, different degrees. So, uh, you know, as we were hearing uh, more questions coming from the community, how do I optimize uh, my PC? They're asking about how to make Windows run better, how to make their PC run better. And, you know, my number one tip is don't run so many things at the same time. If, if you have a, an older computer, certainly that could make a difference. Uh, and, and some people would suggest using optimization tools. But the problem with someone who isn't technically minded uh, or geek or nerd in general, uh, using an optimization tool is that they could probably cause more harm uh, than they could um, make something change for the better. So we've crafted an article for you, really a guide on how not to screw up your PC with Windows optimization tools, okay? So you could have your favorite tool, that's fine. We've listed a, a, a few of our favorites, including a community favorite, CCleaner. I've mentioned that so many times over. Although I say, you know, just be careful about making tweaks because you can make a bad situation worse or a good situation bad. You know, just a, a, a simple misclick and game over. You got to start from scratch. It can happen to anybody. So this article is really designed to kind of help you not screw up your computer in the process of tweaking it. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, which shouldn't screw up your computer. I'm going to tweet it and like it as well. Hopefully you, you do uh, the same when you're looking at the article. Feel free to click the link in the video description. And just to, you know, uh, you know outline, uh, you know, how we're trying to help these people. Well, there are many ways to help people. Uh, some ways are better than others. One, uh, and this is not a good way to help someone, we can tell them how stupid they are. That's, that's dumb to do that to anybody. And, and so we try uh, to avoid that at all costs, and you should as well. Even if you know better than the other person, that's not how you want to make them feel. You don't want to make them feel stupid. Uh, any technology that makes a user feel stupid is a stupid piece of technology. Uh, we can tell them that they wasted their money. Uh, again, no one really likes to hear that, right? Oh, you spent the money on the wrong thing. Oh, you're stupid. No, let's, let's take that out of the equation. Or we can send them a link to this article to help them understand that they're not alone in trying to optimize Windows and things that they could do better. So what are some things to watch out for? Well, if you see a claim or you hear a claim, this software will speed up your PC by 300% or some outrageous, bogus percentage more. That is a near impossibility. It could happen. It is feasible, but not practical. I, honestly, I've never seen any software speed up a system that much. If anything, not running so many things at the same time could speed up your system, no matter how new or old. Newer systems probably don't see the crunch as much as the older systems, uh, but that's pretty much the nature of the beast. Uh, so when you see something that says this software will solve five or outrageous number of PC problems with a single click, uh, not likely, especially if you're spending money on software, because there's money you could spend on software that will work well, and there's software that you don't have to spend any money on that could work just as well, if not better, than software that costs you money outright. So, you know, keep that in mind. I, I saw, that really, I, I would say, the drive behind me wanting to do this video, if you've seen, have you seen this TV commercial, guys? I'm going to turn to the YouTube uh, live video feed here. There's a TV commercial, at least in America, where this guy gets on, uh, you know, in front of the screen and says, does your, you know, uh, computer uh, cr crash? Does your email take longer than a minute to get? You may have a virus. I'm thinking, does your, does your email take a longer than a minute to get? What, how does that automatically mean you have a virus? I mean, it's, it may not even be a virus. You may be using that as a generic term, but how many people have been suckered into buying that? And I can't imagine that being a good program. If it's advertised on TV in that way, almost in, it's a commercial, but almost in an inf infomercial sense. They go to, you know, a paid, uh, 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 I guess, what would you call them? Uh, um, uh, not really a model, but a, a customer, customer, an actor, uh, and, and say, oh, my computer got sped up. Thank you, whatever your the program's name was called. But, I mean, he was actually saying uh, that a slower email download meant that you had a virus. That's what he's insinuating. And this is the information people are getting. Come on, for real?
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, if your email is running slow, it could be a slower internet connection. You may need to upgrade your internet. Uh, you may want to do less things on the internet at the same time. There are uh, uh, at least five other things that it could possibly be, none of which has to do with malware of any kind. Oh, it's just... You, you guys have seen this, right? Oh, uh, hang on. Mac, Mac OS 212 on YouTube says he actually says three seconds to load your email. It's even worse if it takes three seconds to load your email. Someone's at home going, yeah, it takes me five seconds. Oh, I must have a virus. What's a virus? Is that commercial? Okay, so anyway, if you're going to be using optimization software in the article, we outline how you could not screw it up. Don't screw up your PC. We give you a way out of that problem, okay? Beyond the tips that I've shared with you here, we're constantly sharing this information on LockerGnome.com. And it's good information. I mean, I, I, as opposed to saying that if, if it takes you three minutes to load a YouTube video, you probably have a virus. No, you probably have a slow internet connection. Or you're trying to view a video in high definition when it's taking too long for it to download over your internet connection, even if it's the fastest internet connection you have. Or YouTube's having a problem. Or your ISP's having a problem. Has nothing to do with anything else. Ugh. Uh, it frustrates me to see that kind of information being shared to the masses. It's one thing to share this information online, because if I share something with you and, and you say, oh, Chris, you're crazy, that's one thing. You're entitled to your own opinion, you know, and back, backing up your opinion and, and getting people to agree or disagree, that's fine. But putting it out there over the airwaves where I can't respond to it directly or to let people know, hey, dude, that sounds like a scam. Well, I'm doing it for you here. If you don't want to screw up your PC, but you want it to run faster, we have software suggestions for you. We have ways to approach the problem that does not create a further problem. Now, if you got to this far in the video and you're still curious and you still need more help, we are here to help. We either have LockerGnome.net uh, for a, a public forum of answering questions, uh, or we also have Nomies.com, uh, and that's kind of like a a mastermind group of sorts, geeks and non-geeks alike, helping people with, uh, you know, business issues, uh, computer issues, uh, technical issues, technology uh, issues or questions. Uh, so we have many ways you can get your questions answered uh, in our community. And, you know, it's, it's not a scam.